Here we are in Limestone, Tennessee at the birthplace of Davy Crockett, the king of the wild frontier. This is the site of his family's homestead before they moved to his boyhood home in Morristown, Tennessee. It's now a state park with spots for picnics, hiking, and camping. At the entrance to the park sits the Stone Cipher Cabin, which is a recreation of a typical family cabin from the late 1700s or early 1800s. Inside the Visitor Center is a museum which has several displays about Davy Crockett's life and accomplishments as a frontiersman, soldier, and politician. Next, we'll come to a monument dedicated to Davy, and just beyond this is the entrance to the homestead. There are several structures inside which were essential to daily life at the time. Sitting on the bank of the Nolichucky River is the site of the family's original cabin which was destroyed by a flood in the late 1700s. Nearby is a clay oven which was mainly used to cook food, but it could reach temperatures hot enough to melt iron for tools. Next to this is the spring house built over a fresh spring which acted as a natural refrigerator. From here we come to the animal pen which likely housed animals such as pigs, goats, sheep, and chickens. Next to the garden, we see a corn crib which held harvested stalks so they could be dried out to make grist and animal feed. It was also helpful to have a well close by to make transporting water much easier. One of the first structures built on a homestead was usually a shelter for the working animals, such as oxen, horses, donkeys, or mules. These were known as the beasts of burden and were used for pulling wagons, mills, and plows. No one knows exactly what the Crockett's original cabin looked like, but here we see a replica of the typical Native American or European architecture.
Also on the property is a recreation of a campsite that an explorer or land speculator would have stayed in on an expedition into the new frontier. If you find yourself in the area, you won't want to miss this beautiful state park.